Off of the pods. Bottom of two. Cincy up 3-2. Pitcher Sterling Hitchcock. Easy out. Right. Wrong. Hitchcock the other way. Chris Gomez ties the game at three. The first career hit for Sterling. Third inning. Pods up 6-3. Gomez hits one to Barry Larkin. Great play. Comes home. No. IGC and Fraco scores. Pods up 7-3. Later there's Finley. Deep to right. Gomez and Flaherty would score. Pod score six in the third. Ray Knight a bit perplexed as the Pods win, 9-6. Hoffman strikes off the side in the ninth for his sixth save. The only Padre without a hit, Tony Gwynn, 0 for 4. He's at 358. Dion swinging, Nagel fanned five of the first nine batters he faced. Top of the third, 3 nothing Braves, bases loaded for Jeff Blauser. And Blauser got it. Deep to left field. It's one deep to left field, his fourth homer of the year, his third career grand slam, and the Braves are up 7-0. <laughs> Bottom of the fourth, left. same score, Nagel in a jam, the base is juiced, one out, Joe Randa at the plate. Randa. Grounds to Blauser for the six, three, double play. Nagel, six innings pitch, six hits, two earned runs, picks up win number six as the Braves win nine to three. The Braves put favorite golfer, yeah, they don't need Jeff Bagwell, facing Rick Helling. Now, much like an English muffin, Pro Player Park has lots of nooks and crannies. Bagwell found the one 434 feet away. Moises Alou, nice catch. Astros up 1-0, and a balk is called on Rick Helling, bringing Bill Spires home. Only thing more exciting than a balk call is a reversal of a balk call, which Jim Leland forced and argued, and Larry Durker, sorry, no run, no balk. The umpires changing their minds all over the place these days. Astros up 3-2 in the ninth, and Craig Vigio a little insurance off of Mark Hutton. The Astros win 4 to 2. Houston snapped its 11 game losing streak in Florida as the Marlins lost just their fifth in 20 games at Pro Player Field. In that high night sky of Los Angeles, Rondell White can't find it. Perhaps it was the smog. Todd Zeal comes in to score. Dodgers lead 1 0. But White would redeem himself with the glove. Bottom of the fifth, Todd Hollinsworth. It's one to right center field, and Rondell White makes the nice dive and grab. Chano Park facing Vladimir Guerrero, brother of Wilton, in the top of the seventh. Fly ball to right. Raul Mondesi makes a nice catch in the stands. Bottom of the seventh, Mondesi on third. Bullinger to Guerrero, this being Wilton. It's a family affair. Joe Orsolak throws home. Mondesi knocks over Darren Fletcher, but Fletcher holds on to make the play. Top of the eighth. Dodgers leading 1-0, Mark Grosselanek. Base hit left field. Doug Strange, come on down. We are tied at 1. That would be the score in the bottom of the ninth. Two outs, 0-2 to Guerrero. Wilton swings and misses. It is a, a pass ball past Fletcher for a wild pitch. Either way, it gets past him. Eddie Williams, the pinch hitter, his second at-bat of the season. A base hit. Bill Russell pushing the buttons as Todd Zeal scores the winning run. Your final score is 2-1. to one. And after scoring 19 runs Wednesday at San Francisco, Montreal has been held to just two runs in 18 innings. In the house, hefty bag built. Oh! Chuck Knobloch gets hit with the fastball. Two pitches after Clemens threw over his head. Knobloch did finish the inning but left the game. X-rays negative. His status day to day. Top of four, milk. Benito Santiago takes Greg Swindell deep. A two-run shot. 4-1 Jays, his second milk of the game. Clemens would regain control. Toughest thing in sport, of course, hit a baseball. Easiest thing is to miss it. Denny Hawking, Pat Mears, and Rich Becker looking. 11 Ks through five, nine away from 20 for Roger. Bottom of six, 5-2 Jays, two out. Greg Colbrin. Pops to short, but Alex Gonzalez has some roof issues. Can't find it. Carlos Garcia tries to save him. Can't. R. Kelly scores. 5-3 Jays. Bottom of seven. 5-4 Jays. Clemens strikes out Becker for the fourth time. Jays win 6-4. Clemens is 6-0 for the third time in his career. 14 Ks, no walks. Thomas. 52nd time in his career, he hits a first inning home run. Three run blast, quickly 3 0 Chicago. Then it's Oakland's turn. Jose Canseco, will that be for here or to go? Deep center field and it is gone. A's take a 6 5 lead, Canseco's sixth of the year. More Canseco in the fourth, same score, 6 5 A's. Two more RBIs for Jose. That plates two. It's eight, five A's. Bottom of seven, eight, six A's. Buddy Groom facing Harold Baines with two on. Baines comes through. To the gap, Thomas scores. Here comes Albert Bell. Number eight will score, tying the game at eight. Now, bottom of nine, Dave Martinez against Billy Taylor. Martinez is clutch. And clutch is everything. 
He's the hero for the second straight night. White Sox win. They're out of last place with the win and the Twins lost. They've won three straight. Thomas, one for two, three runs, three ribbies, three walks. He's at three. three two pitches. Joey Cora out of the crib. Off Scott Kamenicki. His second home run less than 24 hours. His 16th in a 10-year career. Top of eight. Mariners are down two to one. Alex Rodriguez trying to make something happen. Brady Anderson head down, does not see A-Rod. Beautiful slide in the second. He's safe. He was scoring a grippy sacrifice fly. Bottom of the eighth, tied to two, one out. No one aboard, and Rafael Palmero thinks he has a home run. Rich Emerald says you'll get nothing and like it. I guess that's 2% milk. 2% milk, one and a half. They would go to extra innings, skim milk. Top of the 11th, first and second. Pinch hitter Mike Blowers, pinch hitting for Rob Ducey, please. Scores Paul Sorrento, Mariners win 3-2. Charlton pitches the final three and continued to Saturday when Joe Torre took out the lineup cards and got the gate. Now, you know Joe is expecting to get tossed because this is the first time he took out the lineup cards since the game one of the World Series. Top of the second one, nothing Royals. Tom Goodwin, he is swift, he is speedy. We are following him all the way to third as he turns on the Jets. For a triple. He'd later score seven. Ruben Rivera in limbo. Is he in San Diego or not? Well, he's in town for the <laughs> ring ceremony on Sunday. Bottom of the sixth, tied at two heavy C, knocks in Bernie Williams from second. 3 2 Yanks. And then Wade Boggs protects the lead. Jay Bell rips one to third. And Boggs throws him out, and Jay Bell did not pass Jose Offerman. Next batter, Bip Roberts, hits it to Boggs. But another great play. The Yanks would go on to win 5 to 2. Now, after allowing two runs on six hits in the first two innings, Ramiro Mendoza, shall we say, calmed down. But he out, Danny Patterson gets Mo Vaughn swinging. And then next up, Reggie Jefferson swinging. It's a type of middle relief the Rangers were craving all last year. And then Rudy Pemberton kind of some strikes out the side. Two and two third innings pitched, no earned runs, three strikeouts. Top of the ninth, same score. Red Sox relief not nearly as strong. Damon Buford looking to bunt. Slocum's pitch is wild. Mark McLemore to third. And Slocum would walk Buford and the next batter to load the bases for Rusty Greer. And his comebacker can't be handled by Slocum. John Valentin's throw home. Not in time. 6-5 Rangers and these young fans, Texas Ranger fans, want more. And with Juan Gonzalez, they got it. With the bases juiced. How do you say cold cuts in Spanish? Oh, that's just adorable. These kids are loving that. Baseball reconnecting with the youth of America. Beware, American League. Juan Carol Hamilton at first. Jim Ruggleman wants a triple play. Last time the Cubs did that, 1986. Mike, enough already, lines out to Ed Merrill Lynch, current Cub GM, who throws to Davey Lopes, current Padre coach, who throws to Terry Francona, current Philly manager. The double off Chris Brown. That's what they wanted on Saturday. The pitch popped up. Shallow center, Dunstan out calling. Oh, the gray comes God. in and it drops. The infield fly rule was in effect. The throw to third base. And they've got a man there. Throw to second. That's a triple play. Doesn't hit into a double play. Bob Davidson makes the call at second base, the 3D call. Top of nine, Jim Poole in for the Giants. Rod Beck in the bullpen with the save. And so, Dusty Breaker said that's good enough for me. <laughs> Brings him in still. Top of nine. Bases loaded, 4 nothing. one out, Ryan Sandberg. Grounds the third, the throw to second, bobbled by Kent Watts, the spikes of Sean Dunstan right there on the left inner thigh of Jeff Kent, and Kent is not amused. Two runs score on the play, Cubs are down, still 4-2. Two outs, 4-2, runners to the corners, and Odelay. Rod Beck is where it's at. Beck strikes out Hanson, a musical strikeout. Giants hold on to win, no homers for the Giants, so in 655 at-bats, that is the smile. Top of 10, 3-3 game, Ellis Burks, a bad bunt. Great play by Bronya. great play by Mickey Morandini right there. The beautiful scoop, two out. Bases loaded now for Darnell Coles. No RBIs this year. And Walker at first. Coles waiting. Sharp grounder in the hole. Great stop by Stalker. However, his throw to second is late. Quick and McCracken, Scottish therapist, scores. Out at third. Coles does the job. Rockies up 4-3. Bottom of 10. Man on. A double play ends the game, but doesn't happen. Eric Young throws wide, and that fails to end the inning, and Darren Dalton makes him pay. Dalton, two-run homer. Phils win 5-4. Fourth loss in a row for the Rockies. Second straight on his 13-game road trip. Now 9-6 away from...
trying. Second inning, no score. Bobby Jones. K's John Mabry. Mabry eight innings, two hits, four Ks for Jones. For he was on. Jones. In the third, two outs, runner on third. Jones gets Dimitri Young to ground out to short, and so ends the card's Bobby biggest Jones threat. Top of six, no score. John Olerud. Oh, the wake-up bomb. His sixth milk of the year. Mm. Mets up 1-0. Fattening. Top of seven, same score. Pitch out. Carlos Baerga, oh, but the Shields drops the ball. That would be his fourth error of the year. Two batters later, Ray Ordonez. Loops one to left. Here comes Carlos. He shoots and scores, and the Mets win. Two love. Jones and Franco combine on a three-hitter as the Mets finally reach 500. They're now 18 and 18. They have been for yeah. Nice grab of the pop-up in the bottom of the second. Let's go to the bottom of the 10th now. Tied at three, leadoff batter John Jaha facing Rich Delucia. Grounds to De Sarcina. Oh my goodness! If he's not going to the stands, he boots it. Third error of the year. A pass ball and two walks would load the bases. Terry Collins tells everybody, "Come on in." Jose Valentin up now. Ball one, and then ball two. Collins barking at Ken Kaiser, but Kaiser's like, "One ball goes one way. Ball one ball goes the other way." And what do you want from me? <laughs> Collins looking on as Chuck Carr is the winning run on third. It's three and one, and Carr can walk home. Delucia throws ball four. Brewers win their first extra inning game of the year and their eighth one run game of the year. And they're now eight. We'll lose his bat. And Tony. One of the hotter bats in this ball. It's going to bunt. Fernandez bunting. Gets it in the out. It gets it in the left field. Fernandez was stranded at first. One of his only three hits allowed by Oliveras. Jim Tomey looking. Bob Higgins in the bottom of the fifth. Off Bartolo Colon. That's going to hit the third deck. Oh. His fifth, Tigers up two to nothing. Then bottom of the seventh, Steve Klein to Tony Clark. That one's deep to right center, and that one's not going to come back. That one's gone. That's his 36th RBI of the season. Tony Clark, 36 RBIs. Tigers win 6-0. Omar Oliveras with a three-hitter for his first career shutout as the